Hi, John here with LPM and we just had delivered the brand new Kindle Fire from Amazon and I wanted to take a moment to check it out. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. Open up the flap and inside is the new Kindle Fire tablet with a little card right up top here that uh, gives you a quick rundown on how to uh, uh, getting to know your Kindle with some basic instructions on using it. Uh, we'll get to those in just a few minutes. Let's check out the rest of the stuff in the box. So just uh, off the, uh, off the uh, first impressions here opening the box, I've never handled uh, any type of a Kindle, Kindle before. I'm unfamiliar with uh, their basic use and function. They're very popular and the Kindle Fire itself has taken off to such an extreme degree that it's proving to be a super popular device. And, uh, and it looks like probably about uh, the size that's somewhere in between a large sized smartphone and an average sized tablet. Looks very nice, easy to handle. Not too light, not too heavy, but definitely has some heft to it. Um, we'll unwrap that in just a moment. Let's also check out what's in the rest of the box here. This looks like it's the, uh, the charging cable. Doesn't seem to come with a USB cable for syncing in the box itself, but I'm sure all of that is covered in the card here. I'm getting to know your Kindle. Uh, in fact, it says to charge your Kindle, connect it to the power cable as shown in the little diagram here. Then connect the power adapter at the opposite end of the power cable into a wall outlet. The, the typical way you would charge up just about anything with a wall adapter. Well, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's unwrap the uh, rest of the device. Wow, it's a very nice shiny black and sort of what feels like this rubberized coating on the back, uh, which um, is not necessarily soft or plush, but it feels like it's um, Probably some type of a, a non-slip coating of some type. Feels very nice. And uh, there's what the device looks like in the hand. And in fact, it shows here that it has a little green light on the bottom. I don't know if I accidentally turned it on while handling. Evidently I did because the Kindle Fire logo on this coming up on the screen. Well, let's review the card and see what it has to say. To start your Kindle, press on the power button, which I guess is probably the button up here in the top. I must have pressed that while handling it. And there it is. And then to unlock the Kindle, press on the yellow arrow, drag the arrow across the screen to the left. And it's automatically finding my available home Wi-Fi networks. and asking me to connect, which I'm doing, and I'm on there, so. And uh, it's already registered my Kindle to my name, uh, evidently based on my Amazon account. And I'm in with a welcome screen welcoming me to the Kindle Fire and allowing me to go ahead and navigate the interface and check out all the different things that are inside tying it into the Amazon store that I can access and have some fun exploring. But that's for next time. Until then, take care and thanks for watching.